think we can all agree that everything is better with bacon. And that's exactly the case with today's recipe for this pan fried cabbage. Tinder sauteed cabbage gets cooked up with crispy bacon bits for a savory side worthy of your New Year's or St. Patty's Day celebration. To start, we'll want to first get that bacon cooking up in a skillet. You'll want to grab four ounces or about five thick cut strips of your favorite brand of bacon. Cut the slices in half lengthwise. And then again into smaller bite-sized pieces, no more than about half of an inch thick. Add these to a large skillet over medium heat and spread them out in a single layer. Cook for seven to eight minutes, stirring occasionally or until they crisp up and are all of the way cooked through. Remove the pieces and let them drain on a paper towel lined plate. It's best if you do this with a slotted spoon so you can reserve all of that delicious bacon grease in the skillet for later. While the bacon finishes up cooking, we'll get started on prepping those other ingredients. You'll first wanna finely dice one small white or sweet onion, and then shred one large head of cabbage that is about two and a half to three pounds. This will give you roughly 10 cups of shredded cabbage. If you've never cut a head of cabbage, let me show you a few of my tricks real quick. You'll first wanna remove the outermost layer, as well as any additional soft or damaged leaves. Give the head a quick rinse under running water to remove any lingering dirt or debris. You'll then wanna start by trimming and removing the stem end. This creates a nice flat base so it's stable when cutting. We then wanna remove that core that's running down the middle of it before we start shredding it. To do this, you'll wanna place the cabbage flat side down onto the cutting board. Cut the head in half and then again into quarters. Locate the core in the middle of each quarter and cut at an angle to remove it. Thinly slice the cabbage quarters to get pieces that are roughly 1 4 inch thick and 3 inches long. Repeat this with the remaining quarters. Add the diced onion to the skillet with the reserved baking grease and saute over medium heat for 2 to 3 minutes. Add 2 cloves of finely minced garlic and cook for 30 seconds or until fragrant. Once the onion is cooked, add two tablespoons of butter and half of the shredded cabbage. Toss to combine the cabbage with the onions and garlic. After about two to three minutes, the cabbage should have cooked down some, which will give you more room to add in the remaining half. Sprinkle in three fourths to one teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Remember, you can always add in more after it's done cooking. Stir everything together until it's well combined. Continue cooking the cabbage for another 10 to 12 minutes, stirring occasionally. If you'd like to caramelize the cabbage slightly, turn up the heat to medium high during the last few minutes of cooking, making sure to keep a close eye on it as it can burn quite quickly. Once the cabbage is tender, toss back in the bacon to warm it up. Then serve it immediately with additional salt and black pepper if desired. Mm. <laughs> I bet you anything you've never tasted cabbage this good before. But I wanna know what you think, so be sure to let me know in the comments. Also, if you need a few more cabbage recipe ideas, I have got you covered. Be sure to check out this egg roll in a bowl recipe right over here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next one.